Good day everybody. Welcome to the Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro tutorial series. In this video, I will assume you know the basic functionality of the watch and know how to access all the relevant menus. If you are unfamiliar with the watch controls, please go to the overview video first. You can either click on the card at the top right or follow the link in the description below. Now on to the topic at hand. Today we're going to create workouts on Garmin Connect on our PC. So first you need to go to connect.garmin.com, log in, and then on the left hand side panel, you would be, when you open it up, it will be on the home screen. Open up the left hand panel, go to training and planning, and go to workouts. Once in a workout, before we can create a workout, we need to select the workout type. So we're going to do a run and then we're going to create the workout. First one we're going to do is just a simple zone two run. Um, so let's first rename our run to PC YouTube zone two. Then we've got the main window here at the bottom and these are the steps that the workout is going to follow. First up is our warm up. If you said open that up, you can edit the step. First thing there is the details. So we're going to change the step type. It's either warm up, run, recover, rest, cool down, or other. We're going to use a warm up. Then the duration, how long does this step last? Now you can choose between a couple of different options. It should either last a certain amount of time or a certain amount of distance or until you press the lap button. Um, then the next one there is when you've reached a certain amount of calories burned. And the last one is if you hit a certain heart rate. Now we want a distance and we're going to do that for one kilometer. And we've got no target for this step as it is just a warm up. Now the next one is the main one that we're going to use. This is where we're going to run with our certain heart rate target. So again, this is a run. Um, we're going to just keep it on distance and we're going to, let's make it 15 kilometers. And here we actually want a target. So there's a couple of target um, types that you can choose. First one is to stay within a certain pace, either have a certain cadence a heart rate zone, the one we're going to use now, custom heart rate, a certain power zone and a custom power. So if we want to choose heart rate zone and then we're going to select our zone 2 to run in. That step is done. Then we've got a cooldown. Again, the cooldown is just going to be a distance, which we're going to make one kilometer. And now our zone two one workout is done so if it's going to follow the steps as soon as you start the workout it's going to start with a one kilometer warm-up session so your watch is going to check your distance as soon as you hit one kilometer it will automatically go down to the next step which is our 15 kilometer heart rate, heart rate zone two run once you're done with the 15 kilometers then it's going to go down to the one kilometer cool down. On the right hand side, we can see the estimated time this should take us, which is about one hour, 39 minutes. And then the total distance of this workout is 17 kilometers, which is the one plus 15 plus one, which gives us 17. Now we can save our workout and then we can send it to our device. You can select your device here if you do this and you do it right before you want to go do the workout, it might not necessarily be on your watch already, but it will be on Garmin Connect app on your phone. And if you open that up from there, you can send it to your watch much more reliable. So just check on your watch before you go out to see if it is actually on your watch or not. Okay, let's do one more workout, which is a little bit more complicated. We're going to do another run workout. This time we are going to do a hit workout on hills. Close to my house, I've got a 400 meter hill that is perfect for this. So let's change this to PC YouTube hill 
8 times 4. Okay, so we are going to start up with a warm up. So the bottom of the hill is exactly 1.5 kilometers from my house. So I can make this duration again a distance. And we're going to say that's 1.5 kilometers. There's no specific target. We just want to get to the bottom of the hill. So there might be slight distance changes. So we don't want this program to continue automatically on after we have finished with the warm up. We want it to wait for us to hit, reach the bottom of the hill. So we're going to put a stop in between this one and the next ones. So we're going to add a step. Let's drag it there to the bottom of our that just below our warm up. And we're going to change that to an other and say lap button press. So the program will not continue past this step until you have pressed the lap button. Let's get a note here that says um, position at bottom of hill. So this note will actually show on your watch. Okay, now we've got a warm up of 1.5 kilometers and then our watch is going to wait for us to press the lap button before it continu continues on with the next step. The next step is um, something we want to reoccur and repeat. So we're going to add a repeat to our program and drag that to just at the bottom of lap button press. The plan we're going to follow is we're going to run up the hill for 200 meters. Then we're going to rest for 30 seconds, run another 200 meters up the hill, rest for 30 seconds there. Then we're going to run downhill for all 400 meters and rest for one minute at the bottom of the hill. So let's put those in. First one is a run for a distance. We're going to change that to meters, change that to 200 meters. We don't need any target, but we're going to say this is uphill. Then we want to add a step, which we are going to drag up to right below our run 200 meters. And we're going to make that step a rest. It's going to be time based and we're going to do that for 30 seconds. As you can see, these first two, this is hours, then minutes, then seconds. So I just put it in for 30 minutes. So let's change that. There we go. They've got 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds, we want to run again for 200 meters uphill. So we're going to add a step, drag it in here just below the rest. Change that to 200 meters again. This is still uphill. And then we want a rest. Again, let's just change this recover one. Let's just want to edit this one, edit the step to a rest for another 30 seconds. So we've got our 200 uphill run, rest 30 seconds, 200 uphill run, rest 30 seconds. Then we want to run all the way down. So that is 400 meters down. And that will be downhill. And then we want to rest one more time. bottom of the hill but we want to rest this time for one minute actually okay so now what's going to happen is we're going to run for 1.5 kilometers the watch is going to wait for us to press the button and as soon as you press the button it's going to start with this sequence that's inside the grayed out block which is going to run for 200 meters, 30 seconds rest, 200 meters, 30 seconds rest, 400 meters downhill, and then rest for one minute. After this one minute rest, it will automatically start again at the top here. But we want to do this for four times. So just change that. Then it will repeat this sequence of four times. Um, 
directly after you've rested the last time it's going to go on to the next step which is a cool down and that is a 1.5 kilometer run back to the house we can save our workout and again it might not go directly to your watch if you send it to the device um, but it will be available on Garmin Connect on your phone and you can send it from there on to your watch. Okay, let's see what that looks like on our watch and on our phone. Okay, so let's see on our watch and on our phone if those um, activities has been sent through, the workouts. So you press the start button. Let's go check at our workouts, what is there. So there's six workouts, if you click on that, here's our PC YouTube Hills and our PC YouTube Zone 2. So the two um, workouts we created was automatically downloaded to our watch. If you want to see it on our phone, okay, let's see what it looks like on our phone. So if you're on your phone, you go to more, you go to training and planning, and then at the top, we've got workouts. And there at the top, you will see our two workouts that has already been that we created and has already been sent to our watch. Now, if it was not on our watch, you would just click on a workout. And then here at the top, you've got a button to send it to a device and then you can select your um, watch to send it to that specific watch. And then it will show on your watch itself. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we will create these type of workouts on our phone. Thanks for watching.